Good morning and welcome, family, friends, staff, and of course, fellow graduates. As we are here today, I would like to take a moment to thank friends and family in particular. I'm sure my family is especially excited since today marks the end of texts asking, you'll still love me if I fail analysis, right? <laughs> and you'll still love me if my GPA drops, right? <laughs> Jokes aside, I can say wholeheartedly, I would not be here today if it were not for them. In one of my courses this fall, we looked at the word comfort. Its meaning today is one many of us are familiar with to provide support. But the origin of the word has the meaning to strengthen. So thank you so very much for being both types of support, uh, comfort <laughs> to support and strengthen. Berkeley was my dream school. I still recall receiving the email that admissions decisions had been released. Ironically, I was in the middle of a campus tour of another UC school. <laughs> I won't say which one. It was around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, which I remember since after calling my parents and sister, I called my grandparents. They live in Pakistan, which meant I was waking them up at around 4 a.m. <laughs> However, I knew that this news would have to supersede time zones. Picking a major was something I found to be very difficult. In fact, when my family would hear of a new major I was considering, they would call it my major of the month. <laughs> I don't blame them either. At one point or another, I was majoring in economics, almost every type of engineering, architecture, something pre-law, and something pre-med. Ultimately, I found that mathematics was the perfect intersection of all of these sets. While many who study math are passionate about theorems and analysis, for me it was the process and way of thinking. Studying mathematics has given me a framework for how to learn. The pursuit of knowledge is at the core of our celebration today. As I reflect on the experience we have shared, one thing has become certain. The set of knowledge we have acquired at Berkeley is infinite. Studying mathematics, I have learned logic and analysis. Similarly, my fellow graduates have learned the details of so many disciplines here at Cal. However, this infinite set is not strictly academic knowledge. As edgy teens, we learned how to make memes. <laughs> As dance enthusiasts, we have learned choreography in parking garages and across campus. As participants in democracy, we have seen the actualization of civic responsibility. Consequently, on occasion, we have learned how to reroute ourselves to avoid large groups and protests on campus. As members of this community, we have understood how to push ourselves in every capacity. Sometimes, we have even had to learn how to fail, and in doing so, how to pick up and try again. As millennials, we have learned what it means to work as hard as is humanly possible. If we feel there is something our community needs, we make it. While here, we have learned about living on our own, the process is similar for many. Within a few weeks, our homesickness for family and friends from home sets in. Then we begin to mix little things, like full-size refrigerators and dishwashers. <laughs> but we have learned to appreciate treasures, like quarters on laundry day. We improve our culinary abilities in learning to not set off the fire alarm every time we cook. We adapt our meal prepping to an oven that half the time will preheat and the other half the time will be a gas leak. We have learned more than we can possibly imagine. In physics and chemistry, we derive a hydrogen molecule. 
in biology, we find out that there may be more to learn than the mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell. In computer science, we take a recursive leap of faith. In American cultures, we learn to question American society and analyze the issues our generation will face. In language and history courses, we learn about the world beyond Berkeley. We have grown by meeting individuals around us who come from all walks of life. They may be of different ages and of nationalities previously foreign to us. Yet even though we are all so different, we have found similarities as well. In my first upper division linear algebra class, there was a student who could not have been older than nine. At the same time, another of my classmates was a retired gentleman who was auditing classes for the sake of learning. Though we were different, every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m., we sat in the Valley Life Sciences building together and were greeted, dobro utro, by Professor Svezda Stankova. In learning from others, we have grown as individuals who are accepting. In doing so, ultimately upholding those great morals and values of diversity and inclusion that our university's legacy supports and represents. This legacy is one that came to be 150 years ago. So while it may be terrifying to leave behind our time here, we may instead look forward to joining 150 years of history as alumni of Berkeley. The world is completely changed from the one it was in 1868. It is everyone in this room's responsibility to shape the world for the next 150. A few weeks ago, a friend and I grabbed dinner from Sliver, and he told me about a quote he heard from the TV show American Horror Story. A character says, nothing scares me, I went to Berkeley. <laughs> This resonated with me in a way I'm sure it will with all of you. Nothing can scare us because we made it through Berkeley. <laughs> my dream for my own future is to set up a system of urban cooperative farming in Lahore, Pakistan, thus creating jobs, directly tackling the issue of hunger, and building what we refer to as Naya Pakistan. Although I cannot be sh sure this pursuit will be fruitful, after Berkeley, I feel prepared for the challenge and know that it is priceless to work on a project you truly believe in. As the ceremony continues, the time is rapidly approaching when we will no longer be undergraduate students at UC Berkeley. Thus, we must relearn a few things. We must adapt to our new environment far away from loved ones here. We will no longer set our clocks to Berkeley time. We may no longer have boba available at every street corner. Moffat Library will not be down the hill for all-nighters. We will no longer be surrounded by a group for whom this campus is home. Before closing this chapter in our lives, I urge you all to relearn one last thing. Revisit the person you were when you applied to this school. At some point, each of us sat down to write an essay for admission in which we showed how certain we were that there was someone we wanted to be. And most importantly, that attending UC Berkeley was integral to our ability to become that person. We all came here with goals and aspirations that we may not have had adequate time to pursue. As of today though, December 15th, 2018, we the graduating class of UC Berkeley have an opportunity to become whoever it is we choose to be. So now I urge you all to go forward and be that person you once aspired to become. For the last few years, having been surrounded by some of the most hardworking and brilliant people I have ever met, I hope no doubt that each of you has the ability to achieve those goals and become those people. As with most endings, 
This one is bittersweet. Berkeley has helped shape each and every one of us into who we are today. And while it may be sad to leave, we are who we are in part because we are Berkeley Bears. So congratulations to all of the graduates. Thank you to all of the family, friends, faculty and staff who have helped us along the way. And last but not least, go Bears.